see. The poor fella, he's a mute. A Comaris? You don't think I'd ask him? Bring the wine right away, Senor Carlo.
stand up, you fake. Uh, you, uh, what do you want with me? Some information. For a week I've been looking for two swine. I've already found one. Now where's the other one? The big one. Where is he? I tell you, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'll help your memory. Where is he? This dirty rat. Now are you talk? I don't know. I swear, I don't know anything. Listen, try to remember. Tell me. Go on. Where is the other swine? Freedom. Oh, What's the matter with you? Leave him alone. Mind your own business. Where does Paolo live? Paolo Ciccone. Believe me, I tell you, I never heard of him. All right, you asked for it. Speak. <laughs> He's gonna break his jaw. The street, the number. Yeah, That's better, you see? Now the number, the number, the number. Number nine. All you needed was a little coaxing. I knew you had a good memory. <laughs> can't find the letter. Which letter? The one from the Camorra. Camorra? What does the Camorra want from you? What the Camorra wants from me? Money, of course. Where have those suspenders of mine gone? In this house, you can't ever find anything. Oh, dear. But this time, they have the wrong man. I'll show them. Signor Schmidt, don't talk to them. You can never tell who belongs to the Camorra. I'm not afraid of the Camorra. I'll fix them. Ah, oh, you're going to fix them, huh? Do you think you can do what the police, the whole army, and even the king can't do? Why, no one can get the command. By the way, what have you done? What have I done? A big crime. Just for once I was lucky. I won in the lottery, and now the Camorra want from me 10% of my winning. That's only fair. What are you getting so excited about? They only want the tangenti. Why, every child in Naples knows the Camorra gets 10%. From everybody. It's the tangenti. Not from me. I'll give no 10%. No, sir. Why, it's not honest. It's robbery. You can call it what you like. But we must have a little order. The Camorra does a lot of good. It's they who make things run smoothly. We have the police for that. But remember, it's the Camorra who helps the poor. <laughs> so what am I? A millionaire? Huh? I'm only a poor guy. Listen, Senor Smith, you don't understand. Let me explain. My niece's husband was a drunkard. He beat her. Never gave her any money. After she had a baby, he disappeared. She went to Mora, and now the husband pays her an allowance every week without fail. Minus, of course, the 10%, the tangenti. What about all their crimes I read about in the paper every day? The Camorra has its own laws. A foreigner will never understand. For me, it's only bad. Not a lira, Wilkett. Not a single lira. Oh. Who are you coming in here without knocking? Is this Paolo Giacconi's room? Yes. Who sleeps in the other bed? Me, Otto Schmidt. And who are you? <whistles> Who's this? Another roommate? Listen, whoever you are. This is a decent house. The lady lives next door. Her name is Dolores. Look, this is her room. Oh, I see. This is a hotel lobby. Well, what do you want? I have a message for a senior Schlack, Block, maybe Schlick, a foreigner, a funny name. Do you mean Schmidt? Yes, sir. It's me. What is it? Miss Dolores sent me. She said to tell you she'll meet you after the show on the bench behind the fountain. Dolores waiting for me? What fountain? The marble fountain, the one of a man who plays the cymbals. You're sure she said me? You're senior Schlick, aren't you? Schmidt, Schmidt. Then you're the one, 11 o'clock tonight. Oh, here you are, my boy. <laughs> Good day. Make double sure you lock the door, Gabriella. Very attractive girl. Which one does she go with? Well, Signor Smith is crazy about her, but he hasn't got a chance. She goes with the one who sleeps here, Signor Paolo. Paolo? What a pity. Oh, he's quite handsome. They say he's a Camaris. They're planning to lease an inn. He must have money. No, he hasn't a penny to his name. She has. That's just what I thought. I know so well these games that I will always 
to win. I know at a glance of a man is a good or a bad thing. Is there a man to challenge? Not an amateur is there. That game is a thing I would be sure of. I make the mistake, a look at me. Then I let them fall if I agree. The game, the game can be lost if I choose. Give me a glass of wine. If I find the guy who knows how to lose. Oh, seven up has got me and I don't care whether it's right or it is wrong. I may let that man make a fool out of me. Oh, I make a darn fool of that man. Just Paolo, darling. What's wrong? You seem upset. Do I? Trouble again? Yes. I couldn't raise the money for the lease. I tried everything. Don't worry, darling. You don't know about things like that. If only you could help me. I can't raise the money unless... Wait. Take them. You're wonderful. I must change now. I'll buy you so many jewels, you'll never know what to do with them. Wonderful. I hope everything turns out fine. I'll be back in a minute. The buyer is waiting outside. Mm -hmm. You were so sure I was going to give them to you? Very clever. <laughs> Darling, well? It's all fixed, Dolores. Sold. Tomorrow I sign the lease for the inn. I'm so happy, darling. What are you writing? A receipt for you, darling. For the jewels you lent me. Why? Because I like everything in order. How is this? But I don't really need it, you know. I insist on it. I'll put it in your purse. All right. darling. I tell you again, I won't pay. I will not do it. Just as you like, sir. The Kamar does not beg, but you're taking a big risk. How much? Forty. Okay. It's easy to tell that you're a foreigner. You decide for yourself whether you want to pay or not. It's all voluntary, but life is beautiful, isn't it? How much? Twenty centesimi. Listen, my friend, don't give me that. Figure it up again. Twenty centesimi. Ten percent of what I want. You are lying. You want much more. That should remind you. 
not to try and cheat the Camorra. Who did that? Nobody. I've scratched my cheek with her hat pin. Yes, with her hat pin. It's a big scratch for such a tiny pin. None of your business. It's my face, after all. All right, if you take it that way. Here's the money. I think you'll find it the right amount. Thank you. Thank you very much. Paolo, why are we walking down this lonely road? I, I want to go back. I don't like it. Scared? A little. Don't be silly, sweetheart. I'm taking you down to the bay for a boat ride. It's a lovely night. Look up at that moon. The moon. You're such a poet. Paolo, I think somebody's following us. It's only your imagination. Don't I always take care of you? Be careful, Paolo. It's just to protect you, sweetheart. It might go off. Not unless... unless I want it to. Don't turn around. No, maybe you'd better. I want to see your slimy face once more. Just to be sure. You? Yes, it's me. You didn't expect me, huh? No, Peppy. Let me explain. It was all a mistake. I didn't mean to. I... Man's dead. Somebody shot him. Dolores, what's happened? Who did it? A cripple. A man on crutches.
Don't waste your tears. He wasn't worth it. Oh! Oh! Make a sound or else. What are you doing here? What do you want? I want to see you. To kill me? I know who you are. You're a murderer. You killed Paolo. Yes, that's why I broke out of jail. I waited three years for this night. Why? What did he ever do to you? He killed his girlfriend and framed me. Liar! He was a dirty rat, and I'll prove it. Ever seen this before? Where did you get them? From Paolo's pockets. Where else? That's not true. He sold them. You have big, trusting brown eyes, Dolores. He sold them. He even gave me a receipt. Oh, sure. An old trick of his. Paolo always gives a receipt, then puts it into an envelope and puts the envelope in your purse, didn't he? Yes, but how do you know? Look for yourself. You will see whom he wanted to send to jail this time. Otto? Otto Schmidt? He was his best friend. Nice to his friends, wasn't he? I saw Paolo sign it. But this is Otto Schmidt's handwriting. My signature wasn't faked either. It was the last page of a letter I'd written. He cut it off under the last sentence and traced some lines over it. Now I understand. The dark road. He... he wanted to kill me. And you... you saved my life. Not afraid of me anymore. In this house, gentlemen. Are you sure it was the murderer? Oh, yes, sure. But be careful, gentlemen. We have been informed that the murderer we are looking for is in your room. Here. You expect to find him here? But I saw you struggling with that killer a minute ago, Dolores. Oh, I know what you mean. There was a man here, an old friend. We had a little fight. And you know how men are, Commissioner. You made such a fuss, I thought that the lady was being oh, murdered. But I Shut up. Take some pills if you feel restless and let us all sleep. Remember, the police too must sleep. Why did you go to the police? I could have sworn that the murderer was here. 
Of course he was. And where did he go? Don't be so frightened, Otto. He will not harm you. Be a good boy and go to sleep. It's all right. They've gone. What are you going to do now? The police and the camera are both after you. You always worry about no goods like me? Not always. You're a strange girl, Dolores. No. Just a very ordinary one. Then why are you doing this? I don't know. You saved my life. Maybe... I feel sorry for you. I don't know. Pity? No. Just sentimental. Nobody's spoken to me like that for three years. I've got to clear out. I don't want to make any trouble for you. Don't. Don't go away. Believe me, Major, only a miracle can change things as they are here. I have tried everything, medals, bonuses, promotions. My police here in Naples are helpless. They can do little or nothing against